What is up guys, this is Zendek here doing a video and today's is going to be on another collection update. I traded in almost half of my games, I traded in five of them and I got five back. So, and it ha and one of these was actually worth about 30 bucks and uh, I'm going to go on and tell you something I turned in. I turned in Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, Viking, Battle for Asgard, um, I think it was Forza 2 and... Um, uh, there's one more. Uh, it'll come to me later. Alright, I'm going to start off first by saying that the games I have here, um, one of them I would not recommend for anyone under the age of 18. Well, actually, under the age of 20, for that matter. And, um, you cannot be scared of the dark, and you cannot be squeamish at all. Um, I'm going to start with them right here. The first one I bought is Call of Duty 3 the gold edition I don't know the big deal and these I got for buy two going free so basically if you buy it's for using on the so basically if you buy two twenty dollar games they'll give you a ten dollar one free so they give you one that's worth half of what you paid for the other ones this was tw this was like twelve bucks uh, bullet storm was actually I bought this one used bullet storm was, was like nineteen bucks I think and um, I'm just going to show you that right there you can't really see the rest of the title, um, so because that that one's I'm saving that one for last. It's a very big surprise, and it's a game I finally been looking for, and it's done for me what I wanted it to do. All right, Call of Duty Three. Call of Duty Three is a must own. Was this dude like high when he wrote this review on this game? I mean, really, this is the this is the worst Call of Duty in the entire series. I see why everyone hated it. I got it, and the graphics are actually very good. They, they look just like Medal of Honor Rising Sun did back in 2001, and that's saying something really good because that game actually looked really good for 2001. Um, I got it. It says it gives me a free bonus DVD, and here's exactly what they do with it. This is how they store the bonus DVD. I could sell, I could sell this back to GameStop by itself. Here, there it is right there. Sorry to get the hiccups. This actually shows how good they take care. Of. This thing has so many scratches and fingerprints on it, and I'm actually I'm actually not even grabbing it that hard at all. I'm I'm just like just enough to hold it like this. That's how you're supposed to hold CDs, and um, it's it's crap. The game overall, it's one of the worst games all time, most because the graphics don't mesh that well with the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is very very stupid. You can't sprint. You can't you you can lay down I think the M1 Garand you have to fire all eight bullets out of the, out of the clip in order to reload. It's not it's not worth it. And plus the achievements are very retarded as well. I mean really I I got two for one complete a level with less than five hundred round. I mean with uh with a certain amount of ammo or something like that and then finish it with uh finish it with out dying and that was very easy. Let me just say. I give this game like a 6 out of 10. Don't buy it unless you're the major Call of Duty fan. The only, major, the only good thing I can say about this is that there's an online mode, and I'm surprised people are still playing it. That's I'm probably going to end up taking that one back after I get my uh, my final achievements. And plus, there it's almost impossible because you can only get like 200 gamer score by playing through the campaign. The rest is online. And one achievement is 40,000 points in an online in online. Uh, it's all it all accumulates in uh, into one score over time, and they uh, the uh, actually the official Xbox guide said that'll take you about five thousand hours if you do it legit. Seriously, did seriously in Gears of War doesn't even take that long. Bullet Storm it is not in here at the moment. It is in probably sitting in my Xbox. One of the funnest and most funny. Well, not the funnest, the the most fun. Sorry about sorry about there. there. And the funniest game I've ever played. There are so many. Do not buy this for anyone under the age of 18, please. I mean, there are so many bad jokes in this that you don't want your kid hearing this. Um, everyone's talking about, oh, wow, you actually bought that? He's, they're like, oh, you bought that? The Gears World beta was over months ago. I don't care about the beta. I didn't. I never did. Um, here's some of the graphics right here. The graphics look almost exactly like Dead Island. I mean, they're the, they're an exact replica of the graphics. 
I never understood the stupid cover to this. It's a it's a boot with uh, hoes and pisses on the front of it, X's and O's. Um, basically kill with skill. Like, all right, I'll break I'll break down a few skill charts for you. One of them is called Trap Shooter, which is basically like this. You have this thing called a leash, which is like basically like a little uh, plate that goes in your hand here. Shoot a beam of energy out. You do it, you hold it there for a second, then you do your hand laser here and like throw a ball of energy at the ground. It bounces the enemies up and you shoot them out of the air, and that's called trap shooting. Another one, and if you do them over and over and over again, it, the first time you do it, when you first start the game, it'll give you full points for it. But that one's worth about 300 points, and if you do it again, it's worth 100, then 50, and then finally 10. So don't get the game teaches you to get creative. If you get repetitive with it, it won't give you any points, and you buy uses to buy and upgrade weapons. My favorite skill shot in the whole game so far, I'm about four or five hours into it, playing it on the normal difficulty, which is still a very big challenge. It's probably Mercy, which is basically where you shoot him in the ball, shoot him in the balls and get him on his knees, and then you kick her to blow his head off. It's just so funny. He's like, he goes, oh, 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 my boys, oh, my boys. I'm like, okay. And the online is basically the same as a campaign, but it's like firefight pretty much. This is made by Epic, who made, I think they made Gears of War, something like that, and it says, uh, partial nudity, I haven't seen any at all. I mean, it's, it's, most of this, this game is mostly very, very rude and mature humor, along with a ton of blood, a ton of gore, and enough violence for 50,080 slasher films. Overall, I give this game a 9 out of 10, I just wish the campaign was not so hard. And no, oh, that's about it. I mean, it's very, it's a very good game. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm going to review the two. I don't have. I don't have them with me. They are. Uh, I bought them on my Xbox on the market, off the marketplace. And um, make sure you know who's. Make sure you talk to the right person before you buy them, because a friend of mine recommended one of these to me, and then another friend of mine recommended one of them, to, one of them as well. And they're the worst DLCs ever. I mean, not downloadable games ever. The first one is Crisis, the original Crisis. One of the most photorealistic looking games I've ever seen in my life. I mean, really, you could, it's like I'm walking outside my win, a window, which is actually right, not even three feet from me. I can look out the window right now, and I see trees and sunshine, and in that game, it looks exactly like that. That It almost got Game of the Year for, in 2007 because of the realistic looking graphics and all that. Um, gameplay is fun. You're a super soldier. Basically, you ha you have this thing on. It's like a nano suit or something like that. You basically you you can jump 10, 15 feet in the air. You can um you can run really fast. You can go bulletproof. You can cloak yourself. And another cool thing I thought about this right here was I was walking along and you can actually customize your weapons on the spot. Say there's someone. Uh, say there's someone. Halfway across the battlefield over there, and you want to kill him, take him out with stealth. You hit, the, you hold the select button, you hold your gun with lights right here, and you just look at it. And each button, the A, uh, all the color buttons on the middle over there, uh, the A, X, Y, B, and A, all control what what different part of the gun. Like A controls your scopes, Y controls your barrel attachments, B controls your underbarrel attachments, and uh, the other one controls. Uh, it's all different things. So basically, if you want to take them out stealth, uh, with stealth, you basically put a sight on it, hit the button, put a sight on it, put a suppressor on it, and then you cloak yourself and sneak up. And if you want to, if you want to go loud, you basically just take the silencer back off there, leave the sight on, and then you could put a sleeper dart on the bottom of it, which is really cool because it has unlimited ammo. Not you knock, you can basically stand back with a suppressor on your gun, knock them out from across the battlefield, go up there, pop each one of them in the head one time, and then just continue on your merry way. Very good game, but the combat is very repetitive. I get that game like an 8 out of 10 for now because I'm about an hour and a half into it. The best thing I can say about it is the graphics are amazing. And it makes you feel bad at the bone whenever you can run around, run around like that. This is basically like Crackdown with first person. Except it's not that big of free roam. The free roam in this game, I've never seen so many barriers in my life. It's supposedly like uh, free roam at times. There's more than one way to get to an objective. It's there's there's so many barriers in this it's ridiculous and I've already encountered a bunch of glitches because the engine in this game is very very unstable I mean really I've walked to the buildings the I have no one no one is around and I'll just walk to the building and the building would just collapse in on itself and the pieces will just fly apart very unstable engine so 
I would still recommend it if you want the most realistic looking game ever. They remove multiplayer, so you're not going to have that option. Uh, everyone said it wasn't that good anyway. The, uh, if you want multiplayer in a, in a game like that, play Crisis 2 because it's almost exactly like Call of Duty with superpowers pretty much. The other one is Dead Rising Case West. Let me just let me just calm down for a minute because um that was the worst 800 points I ever spent. Oh, also, one of the other buys I bought, I bought uh, 2400 2400 Microsoft points. I bought the uh, or some 2600. I bought a I bought a like a three pack. It was it, it was two 800 points and it included a bonus one. And so I thought that was actually really cool that they would do that and it included a bonus one. So I got all those points. And I put them all in my system, and I spent them all in about half an about half an hour. I spent an hour and a half on my just on my marketplace, just looking at games, going, "What should I buy? Should I buy the original Dead Rising? I don't want to lose them all." Uh. So yeah, I spent 800 points on that piece of junk, and um, I was playing it early this morning, and the achievements are very stupid. I'm probably never gonna play it again. I'm not gonna delete it from my system though, because really, if I pay for a game like that, and I it's it's on my system. I'm going to keep it there. But yeah, um, it's basically case zero, just slightly longer. It's very, very repetitive. Even though I like Dead Rising, I don't like it that much. I mean, really, it's so hard because you've constantly got enemies shooting at you. They, they, you've got people shooting you in the face. Uh, they, they have soldiers and uh, zombie wranglers and uh, biohazard units, which is basically a guy with a giant impact driver, and if he hits you, he knocks you 15 feet across the map. You do your signature uh, knockback maneuver, and you get back up with the ninja flip or whatever. I get that DLC like a 7 out of 10. If they would remove the enemies like that, I mean, really, it's supposed to, it's a zombie and not, not, not humans versus humans. Remove the zombies, we got a good game. Oh, ho, 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 boy. This game has scared me. This this is the game I've been looking for. It is fear. First encounter assault recon, and that's not what I call it. I call it forget everything and run. I never thought I would fear a six year old girl so much in my life. This game will scare the crap out of you. I don't care how old you are. I watched a guy, a uh, thirty year old man on YouTube playing this. He pissed his pants. The graphics look exactly like Rainbow Six Vegas, which I didn't really like the graphics that much, but in here, it kind of adds to the atmosphere. Oh my god, I was, uh, I'll give you the biggest scare in the game. Uh, it's kind of a spoiler alert, but um, it's not really that big a deal because, I mean, you'll see this, you'll see this multiple times throughout the game. And if you play the game multiple times through, you start to forget the horror feel of it. But this scene will stick with you. Alright, I was walking down the hallway, and it was, it had water in it. And the water just randomly turns to blood. I'm like, okay, that that's kind of creepy. I walk into the hallway, and there's a door, and I have to go through the door. And just as I get to the door, this bloody skeleton just like rises up out of the thing, and I'm just and I actually had a chill go up my spine. I've never been that freaked out in a game, and I've had people laugh at me because of that. I'm like, I'm like, you play. I was and I was playing with my headphones on wide open and pitch black with my door shut. So basically, I can see, the only light I had was the light of the TV. And that's the real way to play this. It will scare the crap out of you. Um, it's all about uh, Alma, or Alma, however you say it. It's a, She's a six-year-old uh, telepath. She um, she basically, basically she's screwing with your mind. That skeleton that I saw is actually not real. She's basically playing tricks on you. And um, I don't like how you can't aim down your sight in this game. I come to find out, I wondered why I wasn't able to aim down my sights properly. I accidentally removed my crosshairs, and you can do that. You can customize your crosshairs. Um, if you want a true, you want to know the true meaning of horror. Play this game; you will be pleasantly surprised. I mean, seriously, this. Oh man, I'm I'm seven or eight hours into it right now, and I am actually. This is the game that you're so afraid to progress in it because you, I've actually just sat in a well-lit corner for five minutes, just going, I don't want to move, I don't want to move, I don't want to move, and then you realize if you want to progress. You got to move up, and it makes you fear going around every little corner. This game will mess you up psychologically, so that's why I had to play it in hour-long intervals. I play it for an hour, get off, give it five or six hours, go play Modern Warfare or something, then get back on it because this is the true meaning of fear. Also, um, the 
you, there is more than one way to go to run every to go to every problem. Say there's a big group of enemies in in this middle of this area. You can either take them out or you can find another way around them. I usually go guns blazing, which is pretty which is pretty much my solution in any game to kill it to complete it. Here's some of the graves right here, and you can see the girl uh, right there. Oh, also, uh, there's a very creepy scene in this game where I'm coming up. It's a hospital, and the lights are going all dark and junk. And wish me luck because I probably once I finish this game, I'm it's it's leaving my house. I'm done with it. I'm gonna end up getting the second one and the third one just to see if they're just as scary. But this is the true game I've been searching for that did exactly what I wanted to. It gave me a good scare. Um, you will. You will not. I have not slept in the last three days since I started playing this game, so beware. All right, that's pretty much all. Um, I also wanted to say thank you very much for watching my videos and everything. And also, there's a clan. There's there's a clan on uh, Model Frere two and three, known as a Toxic Clan. But the uh, the I is uh, is spelled with a one, I think. It's a to it's a Toxic Clan. One of my best friends on my Xbox is in there really cool but most of them are like under the age of 12 and they're they're actually known as a, gl a glitch clan which basically they go to hunt down, they go hunt down glitches in the game and they just fool around in private matches and they, they're they're, pre they're pretty cool kids just check them out all right guys this has been undead one two three three five here also check out lord draconical peanut butter jelly 721 and mr panda pancake and gamer uh and uh this it's uh there's someone subscribed to my channel, and I will actually reveal their name at a later date, because I don't remember right now. Alright, thanks guys.